Hello friends, it's Allison Vanderslice and thank you for joining me in today's video. Today we're going to be making two cards using acrylic block watercolor stamping. We're not actually going to be using watercolor paints today. We're also going to use water-based ink pads and then we will also use Tombow pens. Right now I am scoring at four and a quarter inches and then I'm going to cut at five and a half inches and this will create our two white card bases. This is not watercolor paper, so try not to use as much water as I did. There is something that we will do to cover up that little mistake that I had, but I do recommend maybe using watercolor paper for this. I'm gonna take this big floral stamp and that will be the focal point for this card. I'm going to attach the stamp to the acrylic block. I'm going to get a foam stamping pad just to give a little bit of cushion to make the stamp work a little bit better. I'm going to use my anti-static powder tool, put that on the card front. And here I'm just going to grab my clear embossing powder. I'm going to use the VersaFine black ink Put that on the stamp and then put it down in the middle of the card front. I got a little bit of ink on my finger and I didn't realize it so you can see it showed up on the card. But we're going to try to erase that and cover it up a little bit with our ink stamping. Here I am putting the embossing powder on top of the wet ink and then I'm just going to set it aside while I stamp the other card. And we'll do the same process for this card. Anti-static powder tool, ink up the stamp and put it down in the middle of the card front and then cover that with the clear embossing powder. I realized I do not like this acrylic block. It is too thin and that's why my fingers keep getting inky. It's not as thick as my other ones. So I'm actually just going to use this block for the acrylic block watercolor that you'll see in a moment. That's all it's going to be used for. Now I'm going to use my heat gun and then heat up that embossing powder. You'll know that it is ready to go when everything is that dark black color. There, I thought I was done, but in that bottom left corner where the flowers are, I realized that it was still the lighter gray color, so I had to go back and do more heat setting. I have the Tombow Mono Sand Eraser, so there is a little grit into this eraser, and that's going to hopefully lighten up some of those ink marks that I got on our paper. Here are the ink pads and the uh, Tombow markers that we will use to create the watercolor effect. We're going to uh, take our ink pads and then put it down onto the acrylic block. I'm just doing this randomly and then I am going to switch it out to a different color. Now some people might not want to mix colors, but I didn't really mind with these since they were cheap off of Amazon. I'm going to go in with the purple, the light blue, and then the dark blue. I do try to work the lightest to the darkest so that way I don't contaminate the lighter ink pads. After we get the ink down, we're going to spray it with water and 
that was too much water and we'll see what we have to deal with a little bit later. We will put that down onto the card front and then we have a little watercolor effect. I do like to go back and put it down a couple times just to give it a little bit more texture. And here I am coming in with a towel just to sop up some of that liquid. And I will also use the heat tool to dry it a little bit quicker. Using the towel also it brings a little bit more texture to your card fronts. Here you can see that it went through since I used a little bit too much water and this was not watercolor paper. For this next one, I'm going to use the Tombow markers and I'm really going to be cognizant about where the flowers are placed. So I'm going to put the purple in the left and then the right hand corners. So that way when I flip it over, it should hopefully line up a little bit with the flowers. I'm going to do the same process of doing the lightest to the darkest so that way I don't contaminate my markers. This time around, I'm going to try to use like the smallest amount of water as possible but now I didn't use as much so the ink didn't spread as well. There you can see nothing really happened because there wasn't enough water. I'm spraying it off camera so I can have a better angle with my spritzer. And here you can see the more watercolor effect. I still liked how this one turned out because of the little splotches. It gave it a lot more character and texture. Again, I'm gonna go in with my heat tool and kind of just dry it up a little bit quicker. And I will go back in with that acrylic block to add a little bit more splotches to this card and actually the prior card. So this card was really light because of the inks that we used and I really liked how the splotches from the Tombows worked with these inks. I'm wiping off my acrylic block so that way I don't get ink on myself or anywhere else because that was how this day was going. And that's what our two cards look like right now. I'm going to set those aside to dry. All right, the cards are folded. I'm going to use my bone folder just to make those creases nice and crisp and allow the card to close nicely. Now these cards do have a little bit of warping because I used a little bit too much water. I think if I do this again, I will either use just a watercolor base or I will do it on watercolor paper and then adhere it to the card front. So right now I am just taking two pieces of paper. I'm pretty sure I did them at the four inches by five and a quarter, if not maybe a little bit smaller than that. And then I'm going to round the edges just to give it a little bit more pizzazz than being just two straight cornered pieces. I'm going to use my tear tape to adhere this to the card, but you can use any adhesive that you feel comfortable with. Then using my take your pick tool, I am going to remove the backing from the tear tape and then we'll adhere this to the back side of the card front. And here are the final cards. I really loved how these turned out, how one was more pastel and the other one was more vibrant. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed creating these cards. Thank you for joining me in today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. 
And if you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.